What's up nerds? So, Evolve Stage 2 beta is here, how do I feel about it? It's alright I guess. Much more invested in Dead by Daylight currently, but that's not why we're here. We're here today to discuss the changes from Evolve to Evolve Stage 2, my thoughts on these changes, and go over the first patch of the game, which has pretty much turned everything upside down. You'll see. Anyway, let's crack on first with the patch notes, get those out of the way. We hope you enjoy this video guys. So to start things off, they've renamed the matchmaking queues from Hunt and Hunt 2.0 to Hunt and Ranked. I mean, I probably don't need to explain what the difference is to the most of us familiar with games that feature a ranking system. You know, pretty much every bastard game these days. But in short, one of them is playing for bants and points, and the other one is playing to climb the ranks to prove that you're the best of the best. The baddest hunter out there. The most deadly, sneaky asshole Goliath main there is. The most... Okay, you get the point. The arena game mode is now available in custom mode, so if you want to practice this mode, go right ahead. And for the people out there not currently aware, arena basically gives the entire premise of Evolve the finger, and puts a full team versus a level 2 monster in a... yeah, an arena. Arena. This kind of scraps the whole chasing and eating part of the game and just lets the two sides collide and whack each other to death. Hunters have no drop shit to come back on and the monster can't leave the arena, so while the monster can try to avoid stage 3 and get the edge on the fight, it's really difficult given the overall size. Going up against a tough monster or a team of hunters will make these matches quite short. Defend, Nest, Rescue and Evacuation game modes have been completely wiped from the game and all leaderboards have been reset. Distillery, Weather Control, Orbital Drop and Wraith Trap are currently the only maps available to us, which is a big disappointment to me personally as I loved the aviary map. Aww. There's been a complete rebalance of Evolve, which is code for sorry guys we f***ed it up. Alright, it's not that bad, but if you were the type of monster player that liked to sneaky sneaky around the place and only fight right at the end, it's not gonna happen anymore mate, sorry. The Trapper now has a planet scan ability, which is pretty cool to watch actually, not gonna lie, but it points the hunters in the monster's general direction every time they use it, so stealth is... more difficult. Not really impossible if you're smart, but remember the days when the team needed a Maggie to always know which direction you were in? You know, the good days. Thing of the past. All trappers got the planet scanner. Speaking of the trapper, we might as well rename that class now to Tracker, seeing as every type of hunter now has access to the dome. Oh yeah, they've completely changed this, get ready. Upon gaining sight of the monster and being in a certain range, any of the hunters can call a dome down on its head. Meaning yes, there's no more clutch throws that epically miss and the monster just gets out, the dome literally appears over the big bastard's head. Using this has a cooldown obviously, but it's just not the same. The support class can now use shield burst to add a little bit of shield to everyone around them for a short time, so those cluster fuck close fights are lethal. And as if that wasn't annoying enough for the monster, the assault can now use defense matrix, which basically just says screw off ugly to the monster as it grants an incredibly strong damage resistance buff to the assault themselves. So now there's even more reason to not focus the assault down. There's also been a complete change to the perk system. Now you choose one perk in each of the three categories, minor, major, and superior. You have complete access to all three right from the get-go, but only certain perks unlocked under each. So if you want to get some of the quote-unquote better perks, you're going to have to grind some silver keys, which look nothing at all like keys, by the way, which is the brand new currency brought to the game. Did we forget to mention that? As you play, you earn silver keys that can be used to unlock different characters, skins, perks, and much more. You can also complete daily challenges to earn those silver keys. They look mysteriously like coins. Hmm. Various sound and visual effects have been updated in order to improve the gameplay clarity, and a brand new announcer has been included that pretty much live streams the entire thing to every Twitch channel going. Monster Evolves? She announces it. Monster Attacks Relay? She announces it. Monster Farts? She fucking announces it. Has this game swapped out the whole idea of going to planets and cleaning out dangerous wildlife? For, let's make a live game show where people die. Honestly would not surprise me if that's what really happened. I really liked how one of the hunters would say something when the monster evolved. It made it feel real, man. Like you were actually in the field hunting this horrifying monstrosity. But never mind, let's scrap all the original ideas, shall we lads? And to round it all off, under the profession update, they've removed masteries and the old level system to make way for a brand new sleek one. Reset everyone's levels, I think? Mine was, so I'm assuming there introduced daily logins that award you with silver keys and other additional prizes, and finally a lovely little message informing us that ranked mode unlocks at level 20. Ain't that nice? Alright, so gotta admit, Total Rock have done a bloody lot to their once great game, but how much of it has been good choices? Well, perhaps you guys can help me out here slightly. You see, I stopped playing Evolve a few months after its release, had like a year break from it due to uni work dragging me down, came back, seen all the new hunters and just said to myself, what the f*** has happened here? There was just nobody playing, it was insane. So what happened? Can someone fill me in? Regardless, the changes are made, and the first we're going to talk about, the arena mode. Started out nice and positive. I actually think this is super cool, although I do prefer the cat and mouse games of Evolve's hunt mode, I can see the appeal in mixing it up every now and again with some pure monster balls to the wall bloodbath action. So plus one from me there devs. 
the removal of other game modes, however, yo oh no. I was never a particularly big fan of Defend, Nest, Rescue, or Evacuation, that last one in particular really tended to grind my gears, but unless Turtle Rock can put forward a valid argument for why they removed them, I'm gonna say no, mistake. Arena is super cool, but you know what's cooler? Having four other game modes for rainy days. And to be clear, when I say a good reason, I don't mean, well nobody plays them so we decided to get rid, right? And what's the harm in keeping those game modes anyway, for the two or three weirdos who actually enjoyed them? If this is a server issue, fair enough I guess, but short of that, I don't know man, they're gonna need something big. Hunt has had quite a big makeover like I mentioned, it's now much more beneficial to pick fights at rank 2, as the more downs you get, the longer the dropship timer. So, in other words, pick fights at level 2, kill or injure a couple of hunters, retreat and heal, get stage 3, leather them. Well this doesn't really affect me too much as that was my strategy to begin with, some people out there will be pissed about this. I can think of absolutely no idea why they decided to remove almost all the maps from Evolve. I mean, were they unbalanced? Did I miss the spree of everyone figuring out that stuff wasn't working? Is that what happened? Failing that, this feels like another big, oh well, you know, we can do it. Yeah, I guess you can waste all the hours and effort you would have put into making those well detailed maps. Just throw it away, Total Rock. Straight out the window, don't you worry mate. Promise you, I'm not salty at all for them removing my favourite map. Not even a little bit. I'm not salty, you are. Shut up. And while we're talking about maps, what the hell have they done to the weather effects? You used to be able to add loads of crazy stuff like acid rain and turrets, oh man it was so cool. This I can understand being unbalanced because each one did heavily favour one side, so fair enough removing it from competitive play, but from custom matches where you're only really there to chill and have a laugh with your mates? Mm, don't know about that one. So finally let's talk about the actual monster versus hunter mechanics in Evolve Stage 2, that being mostly the same. But I feel it's a lot more tailored to the hunters now, though this is mostly due to how weird the hunters have evolved. Like. I never saw a reason to not play Maggie if you were going to play Trapper. I mean she wasn't particularly strong, but by simply playing her, you have a built in sat nav to the monster's position on the map, even if it is a little slow, a free reviver and a bloody sneaky little rat one of that. Like literally just playing Maggie made it a 5v1, even if the muck couldn't attack. Wait actually could it? I don't even know anymore, it probably bloody mutates into a horrible combination of Wraith Kraken and Lazarus in this game, so your guess is as good as mine. F what was my original point again? Oh yeah, the new hunters. They're just so incredibly strong, I don't understand why you wouldn't play them. You know the ones that up until this point you had to buy? Well let's go a little deeper. Look at this picture of Griffin, the good old trapper that in my experience nobody ever played because they had Maggie. He had his spike traps which alert him and a harpoon gun to help keep the monster suppressed in fights. Right, that's cool and all. Now let's go look at this guy. What in the crack and praise in hell is this thing? His crow flies ahead and tracks the monster and then you can shoot through its armour. I mean, I get that's like one out of four who can deal true damage, but that's seriously messed up. What's next? There's a hunter that can't hurt the monster but has super fast heals and can nuke everything on the map to stop the monster from eating? Well no actually, this is next. The original support, Hank? Now he was a right dick with his shield projector, making anyone it touches pretty much invincible. It was pretty cool actually. But who's this now? This dickhead can literally shoot through walls to hit the monster, after he cakes the arena in dust to spot him. I mean come on now. Yes, it has much reduced damage, but this game used to be about the monster being able to be a sneaky bastard and ending people. Now it's a game of run bitch run, no point in hiding, we always know where you are. And now we can hit you from a fucking mile away too. Despite all this, and despite the obvious unbalanced impression I'm giving off here, it's perhaps not as bad as I'm making out. Yes, that defense matrix and shield burst in particular is a right pain in the ass. and is it just me or is Kraken nowhere near as strong as he used to be? Eh, it's not as bad as it could be, all I'm saying. Close it off nicely with the new trapping mechanic. This is pretty cool. When I first heard it, I completely got the wrong idea and thought it was ridiculous, and thank Cthulhu himself that it's not what I thought. Upon seeing the monster, anybody can call down the barrier that will 100% trap Mr. Tall, Dark and Deadly. This is fair. I thought that after one barrier goes down, someone can immediately call down a second one until all four hunters have had a go. This is not the case. Obviously, Dave, that's stupid. So anyone can call down the barrier, yes, but it has a fairly big cooldown. So all the monster really has to do is knock down a couple of hunters and he's home free. So what we're trying to say when we round off this video is, if you're new to the Evolve game, or is it games now, eh, if you're new, come and join us. This is as good a time as any to have some fun. There's a major return of fans coming according to PC Gamer, and if you're an Evolve veteran, then come and see what they've done to your old favourite hunting simulator. Maybe you'll like it, maybe you won't. Like I said, my opinion, they've made some interesting changes. I use that term because I'm still not 100% sure myself on what they've done. But, come and have a look for yourselves and hopefully get back into it. What's the worst that could happen, eh? And that's about it for this video. Hope you enjoyed this look at Evolve Stage 2. It was pretty fun to make. And although I know some of you are going to disagree with me about my opinions in the game, just try to remember that they are that. My opinion. I might think that certain characters are completely stupid, <coughs> but that doesn't mean it's true. 
Hell, I mean, I haven't even been playing the game for more than a year, so why even listen to me to begin with? If you want to catch more Apollo Plays vids, be sure to subscribe to this channel. You can catch our main channel, Apollo Reviews, by following the link in the description. We'll be throwing a review out on the Evolve Stage 2 this Saturday coming, so if you want to catch that, we'd love to see you there. You can keep up with everything Apollo by liking and following us on our Facebook and Twitter pages, but if you just want to yell at me at my thoughts on Evolve, you can catch me on my personal Twitter. Again, linked in the description below. Righto, peace out nerds, we'll catch you next time.